Welcome to the Lessons in RxJS, Mastering the Operators. I'm Hudson Baker, a Senior Enterprise Software Engineer at Brebug. Today we'll be talking about the RxJS operator, SCAN. At its base, SCAN is a mapping operator that is very similar to the JavaScript reduce function. The difference between RxJS SCAN and RxJS reduce is that SCAN will aggregate and emit with every source emission while reduce will aggregate and wait until the source completes before emitting. Scan is a good way to manage local state in a reactive stream. Because you get a value of the stream and the operator keeps a history in the accumulator, you can run a function and store the results for each iteration. The operator will help you dynamically keep track of the information while operating on a data stream. The most basic example for reduce type functions like scan are counting numbers. In this example, scan is used to maintain the internal state of the function. Each incoming number is added to the accumulator to create a total of the values from the source observable. Notice how scan emits a value on every calculation. Reduce would only emit after the source completes with the final calculation. Another common use case for scan is mapping and filtering at the same time. For example, I can take an array of animals and map them into an object that returns a corresponding number for each animal within the stream. Using scan to aggregate the animals in this stream simplifies the code with a reactive solution. A declarative solution would be naming external variables from the function to keep track of the state of the list. In this reactive solution, the code to aggregate the animals is contained within the stream. Each animal from the stream is mapped over and repeat animals in the list are filtered into an animal count on the object. In your code, it's important to choose the right tool for the job. If you're just trying to remove repeats in a list, then distinct would be a better choice. If you need to find something, choose filter. Only scan if you need to keep track of the local state. If you don't want every source emission to produce a result, then go ahead and use RxJS reduce. I hope these examples of the scan operator will add value to managing local state in your applications. Please make sure to check out some of the other lessons in RxJS. I'll see you in the next video.